We're wondering how to take the bones out of a lingcod fillet. So here's a ling fillet, and it's laying face up. This is the um, the sort of the rib cage of it, and then on the other side you got the skin. So notice that this is the top of the fish; it's thicker, and this is the belly of the fish, or the dorsal and the ventral. This is the belly of the fish, and this is kind of the peritoneal surface which surrounds the guts of the fish. So it's looking up like this, and the first thing you got to do is take the skin off, and that's pretty straightforward. But the next thing you do, you have that ri this ridge of bones right here, and that ridge of bones runs straight down like this. I'll turn it around here. It runs straight down, but then there's another ridge of bones that goes like this. It's sort of a V, so that the bones run like this and then like that. So what we need to do is we need this piece of meat, and then we need this piece of meat. So here's how we do it. Here's the top and here's the bottom. We'll take the skin off first. I'll try to do it real quickly so that this video doesn't take too long. It may not be pretty, but it will be effective and hopefully delicious. Okay, so we got the, got the skin off. Set that aside. Usually try to get the fish slime off and try to keep the slime off of the meat too and that, that helps the taste too because the slime doesn't help matters anyway. So here's the skin side. Key is to turn it over. This is this is the belly side. The other side is the skin side. The key is to turn it over. Now this is the thick part of the fillet here. Keep it oriented like that and you can feel those same bones right here. So this thick top side of the fish, you just cut right along the bones just like that. Now you have a big piece of boneless meat. Now with the belly side, I'll turn it over again so we can see. Here's those same bones that you can feel right there and then it runs like that. With the belly side what you do is you cut on the other side of the ridge like this all the way down and this is where you reflect the knife back and we're going to make a cut along the surface just like this. So you get down in there, and you turn the knife over, you use your hand to keep it flat, and you run it like that. Now, boom, we got another awesome, nice, boneless piece of meat. And we have removed the bones, this side and this side, as well as that gut thing. And that's it.